Hello, this is Julian with Coffee Reviews, and today I'm going to be reviewing a bag of Sweet Blooms um, Gesha Village Lot 92 Natural Processed Benchmark in Ethiopia. So uh, I just made my last cup of this coffee. I've had this bag for a little bit. Uh, when I got it, it was kind of late in its roast date, but I'm going to go ahead and pull up my notes here, and we're going to talk about this coffee here. So uh, I picked this one up in Denver, Colorado when I was out there for, or I guess Lakewood, when I was out there doing my five part Sweet Bloom series. And I was kind of surprised they even had any, had any of this left. They don't have it on their website anymore and they weren't offering, they weren't going to be making any more of them. So I actually got what was probably one of the last bags of this made. And the barista did say that this coffee was a little unique, it was a little special that it retained a lot of its flavor and a lot of its, I guess, potency, even later in its life. So I was actually, I mean, I was hesitant. It was already at today, I want to say 10 or 11, but I still went out and purchased this. And I will say I was actually extremely happy with the purchase. So I'm going to include the tasting wheel that I had for this coffee right now. And we're going to kind of talk about the coffee. So I would say the notes I had was this coffee was extremely sweet, it was extremely clean, and it had a very nice finish. I did get a lot of clementine from it, but the most forward thing was the amount of grape in it. It had a very, very nice grape taste. And as somebody that's not a big grape person, it was really nice to kind of have something that exceeded my expectations in terms of that flavor. I think the flavor notes on here kind of list uh, grape, bubblegum, guava, and uh, clementine. That's correct. And I think from what I see, I was getting so much of that heavy grape note that was coming through, and it stayed there throughout the course of this coffee. Very crisp, very clean cup of coffee. The strong grape notes kept coming through, and there was a little bit more chocolatiness and a little bit more saltiness, and it's still coming through now a little more the longer this coffee has been out of roast state. But that being said, I was, this is a 12 ounce bag of coffee. I think, I want to say it's retailed for $34 or maybe $35 at the time of its sale. And that's actually a really good deal for such a rare coffee and such a limited coffee. The second I saw it, I remember wanting to purchase it and I just was going on my travel so I couldn't really take a bag with me. but. This was definitely a highly recommend in terms of a bag of coffee that you should have purchased. It's definitely one of my favorite coffees of the year, even in all my travels. Sweet Plume, unsurprisingly, did an exceptional job with this coffee. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about uh, the other parts to it. So there wasn't a whole lot of acidity. There's still not a whole lot of acidity right now. And I think maybe the biggest highlights, the best thing about this bag of coffee overall was just how, I guess, prominent and notable all these fruit flavors were. It's a natural Ethiopia, you kind of come to accept that, or expect that, my mistake. You, you come to expect that from a natural Ethiopia. But there have been times with Sweet Bloom, like uh, their Nagatu Wasi, where it has, it's been a little bit more earthy than I would have expected. This is just a complete, like, fruit bomb and some fruits that you don't necessarily see coming together a lot. So I think the type of person that I would recommend this coffee to is, and I know this is a broad recommendation, it's kind of to everyone. It's so unique and it's so cheap for what it is that I think everyone can kind of enjoy the uniqueness and kind of innovativeness of something like this. Having so many different fruits and having such a strong I guess flavor, sweetness to it is, is really great to have on your shelf regardless of what type of coffee person you are. Maybe there might be some people that turn off by the naturals or the overly fruity coffees, but even then I still enjoyed this coffee so much that like even now, I, I think it's probably nine, 10 days out of roast date, it still has such a great life to it. It's got a great shelf life that surpasses your typical 14, 15 day expectation. So kind of wrapping this all together, um, Sweet Bloom unsurprisingly did another amazing job with another amazing coffee. I can't wait to see their next limited edition release. I'm reviewing their Pablo Guerrero. I'm doing a full in-depth review of that coffee as well. But as far as this one goes, um, another great job by Sweet Bloom. 
So this right here has kind of been a review and discussion of Sweet Blooms and Gesha Village Lot 92. Thank you for watching.